friends, on behalf of both families uh, gathered here today, I'm, I'm glad to be able to be the one to welcome you here. This is a happy day, a happy occasion, and time to praise the Lord and give Him glory and honor for all that He has done in Sean and Michelle's life and, and for this occasion that uh, allows us to share in their wedding today. So may, may the Lord's presence be felt here all the way through as we share this, uh, this special hour. Shall we unite together our hearts in prayer as we begin? Loving Heavenly Father, we come into your presence. You are the one who has created all things, and you are the one who designed marriage so that a man and a woman may be united together in your presence and uh, live their lives together as one. We thank you today for Sean and Michelle. We thank you for bringing their lives together and Lord, now as we witness their uh, commitment to one another, we pray that your holy presence would be felt among us and uh, that you might add your blessing and your peace and the joy that only you can bring uh, to this ceremony and to their lives. We just dedicate ourselves to you and pray these things together in Jesus' name. Amen. Now may I ask who you give this woman to be married to this man?
apologize for my handshake when I have Parkinson's disease. Sometimes it uh, gets the best of my handshake. This ring, Michelle, you're going to put on his left finger and you're going to repeat the vow of the ring. Sean, with this ring, I'm showing you that I am in love with you and that I cherish you and that I want to spend the rest of my life with you in goodness and in sickness and health and wealth and any other thing that goes on in our life. And so Sean Brennan, with this ring, I be wet. <laughs> sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, let's start over. <laughs> known to man and uh, it's used in all kinds of uh, different ways but one of the ways it is to signify the reunion the union of a man and woman and marriages can go through hard times but that can make them better uh, you face those times together and uh, the same goes for, for um, the fights that you guys will have the love times that you guys will have and uh, you don't need to say it to Michelle, Michelle, I love you. And this ring is a, is a token of my love for you. This ring is a token of my love for you. And with this ring, I be wed. this ring, I be wed. So that goes apart. Now you want to do the unity candle, so I'm going to step back and let you do your unity candle. Every day. 
another passage of scripture that the Apostle Paul wrote in the book of Ephesians. He says, finally, be strong in the Lord and in his powerful might. Put on the full armor of God so that you can stand against the devil's schemes. One of the things that I see that happens in marriages so often, and the statistics now are two out of three marriages end up in divorce, is that they don't prepare for the battle. And you guys will be in a battle because Satan hates marriage. And it's one of his goals to separate you already this day. He started, started planning plans that would uh, uh, try to come about later on in your life to, to separate you. But your willpower and your love for each other can overcome that uh, through the power of the Holy Spirit. It says here that you can take up your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood. That means you guys aren't the ones who are the ones you're supposed to be fighting with. You're supposed to be fighting against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil, of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand. Stand your ground. It gives me great pleasure to be able to be a part of this. And even though I messed up and you guys did your part right, I apologize for that. But let me be able to say to you by the power invested in me in this state and before God and these witnesses, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Thank you, sure.